Hey y'all, it's Sherry G. Welcome back to the channel. Now look, I know I've been gone for a while. Y'all know how I do it. When it gets hot out there, I just got to take a break from all the drama and stuff. But it doesn't mean that I'm not sitting here contemplating and just figuring out, you know, what to do. But I just can't. I'm just a person that I love peace and I just can't take in too much negativity. And it's a whole lot of that going on in these YouTube streets. Now, in spite of all of the negativity and all of the things that's been going on, the one thing I noticed about Melody Sheree Rogers is that she's still going to make it back. She's still going to figure out what her next move is, all the while moving in silence. And I noticed that she's increasing her territory, even though she may have been used allegedly that's what a lot of people are thinking right she was used allegedly by carlos king to do his podcast on the road show type of thing because like everyone's alluding there hasn't been a schedule like the only podcast on the road that actually happened was with melody and melody's following the melometers those of us who support melody turned the place out. I wish I was there actually. But what I love about her is how she took that opportunity to increase her territory. Now, all of the other shenanigans that's going on, you know, with the channel strikes and things like that. Um, those of us who have been told that we can use a certain video, but you know, you can't, you're not going to no longer be monetized um, using that material unless you edit it, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, you know, um, it, it's disappointing to see Carlos move like that. And there's just a lot of speculation around, you know, what's happening and what is the cause of it. And some are insinuating that it's because he's jealous of the following that Melody has. And, hmm... I don't feel that way. I feel like he's already known of the following that Melody has. And that is why he used her as his first stop on the road show, right? Um, because he knew that she would turn her um, following followers would turn the house out. He knew that the millimeters would show up strong. He knew that her support was huge. And some are thinking that the reality of it actually hit him on the road show. And that could be true too. He may have had it in the back of his mind that her following is strong, but not understanding just how deep and wide it is um, as far as people actually traveling to the event, you know, and things like that. Um, but I, I don't think that's why he um, went on to strike channels. I, I don't think it's anything to do with that. Um, it's just to me coincidental that it happened after the event, you know, after the podcast. I actually think that there's a couple of reasons that he's gone out and struck channels or had discovery strike channels. And I think it's because, and this is just me, and this is my opinion, this is the way I'm seeing it. Because we have been calling for the Scots 1.0 and 2.0 to be pulled from the show. Um, in my opinion, Scots 1.0, they don't bring anything real to the show. Like everything, um, they are a show, uh, but a show of fakery. Let me just put it that way. Um, everything that they bring to the show isn't real. We see more of their real life outside of the show. And Scots 2.0 are just boring. It's it, They're just boring. There's just no fire there. Uh, Maurice is just, he's the dullest one of all of the cast members, in my opinion. And Kimmy just doesn't bring anything either. And as a matter of fact, in my opinion, Kimmy seems so disconnected from the show. Um, on, the, on the reunion stage, she looked like she was present in body, but she wasn't present in spirit. Like she could care less about being there. Um, a last, the last couple of episodes, she seemed the same way. She just seemed disenchanted. Like she just wasn't a part of it. And um, like she was there in body, but not in spirit, like I just said. But anyway, 
in my opinion is between the Scots 1.0 and 2.0, if we had to choose I, who would stay, I'd say 1.0 first, because although we know that they bring a bunch of bull crap, they at least bring more than what 2.0 brings. And that is just my honest opinion, not trying to see anybody out of a job, but we pay to watch these channels. We pay to watch these people and, um, we want to be entertained by their truth. And it seems that this, this family, Scott's 1.0 and 2.0, um, don't want to reveal their truth. And when we find out about their truth, when we go behind the scenes and find out, it's just too much for them. So I really feel like they're behind... Carlos is going out and striking the channel, um, but they probably just didn't want to have their names out there. This is just me. This is me. Now, I know that Maurice actually um, struck channels before, and I know that there's also some lawsuits, allegedly, that um, are that's going on because, you know, he... Um, he started lawsuits against some of the bloggers, and I still think it's just all a shame, but... And I'm just praying that everything works out well for everyone, that they get all of their material together so that they can sit and present that material. Because Maurice has said some things himself concerning Kimmy, if this is the issue, right? Um, the things that they found out before, as far as lawsuits and things like that, well, that's a matter of public record. So I just pray that everything works out well for them. I just don't want to see you know, anyone actually losing their channels or losing any funds because of what is going on. And for me personally, I don't depend on money f from here, obviously, because I would be posting more, right? So this I do for fun. Um, yeah, having an extra paycheck or, you know, that extra money isn't a bad thing either. It's just not something that would be detrimental to me if I didn't have it. But anyway, y'all, the next question was, so what, what do we all do, like as, as YouTubers, to increase our territories? What do we do to um, continue doing what we do without being bothered by all of the shenanigans that's going on? You know, the YouTube beats, the, um, you know, between content creators and all of that jazz, you know, like uh, the channel strikes, all of this stuff that's happening here because it can make it a very dark place. Um, and when I look at Melody, she she has a lot going on, y'all. A lot of deep, heavy stuff, yet she continues to rise. And like I said, she's continuing to increase her self-worth. Um, she's continuing to increase her brand, continuing to increase her legacy. And so how do we do that? And she actually said it. One of the things, number one, is move in silence. So you have to move in silence. And then number two is be creative, or maybe it's be creative first. I'm going to say be creative first, sit down and just sit back and think of the things that you like to do, um, that you could actually bring and incorporate into your YouTube channels. That's what I'm doing. Like I'm working on that, but y'all, there's so many things I like to do. Y'all know I love real estate. Um, I love the home, the home building process from the ground up sort of thing. I love looking into beautiful homes. I love decorating y'all. I love plants. I'm a huge plant mom. I love pets. There's so much that I love. So just trying to incorporate all those things. But I also love encouraging people, especially women, especially women, older women, to step out and be the best that you can be, to step out and live your best life, to step out and live your dreams because it's never too late. So um, I, I love stuff like that. So yeah, I'm sitting back and I'm figuring it all out on my end. So number one is be creative, right? That's what she said. Be creative. Think of all the things you love to do and how you can incorporate that into what you bring to the channel. And then number two is move in silence. Move in silence. You know, sit back, think it out. And, and move in silence until it's time to reveal what it is that you have. And even if that includes bringing other people on board, you know, 
make sure you have all of your ducks in a row, dot all of your I's, cross all of your T's. And lastly is be anxious for nothing. So be anxious for nothing. This time that we're in right now is crazy. All of the things that we see going on, you know, and it's YouTube, um, it's very disheartening and it can cause you to want to pull back and pull away and just never do this thing again. But don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. Just sit down, take some time and figure it out. And y'all, can I be honest? That's not where I wanted to go with this video. I thought I was going to be saying a bunch of stuff about Melody. But this is where I ended up this morning. Just speaking from my heart and using Melody as an example. Because um, that's one of the things that I love about hers. Is she's gone through a lot. Um, a lot of stuff has been put on her. You know, guys, there's probably stuff we don't even realize that's happening behind the scenes. But I just love how she just rises up. How she rises up. Yeah. So, anyway, y'all, that's all I have for you today. Go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. I'll be back. Until then, ciao.